Hello everyone and welcome to To Be Released. We're here. Dokkan is still alive. No one's been banned in Dokkan, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> that happened two years ago, actually. And I'm here with Zenrot. Say hello, Zen. Oh. Hello. Uh, usually this is the part where we just talk about whatever for a bit. And we're not going to be talking about Legends because we have something else planned, something special planned for that. So let me tell you about uh, something good. I watched uh, recently AEW, which is, remember how I really love wrestling? Yes. Again, okay, I was waiting for the yes. That was a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, AEW is a new uh, wrestling show from, uh, I guess it's very hard to explain other than it's a new wrestling show that is more catered to wrestling and with people who are all disgruntled. Not all disgruntled, a good amount of people who are tired of the way WWE runs their creative force, which is that they don't let the wrestlers say what they want to anymore because now uh, you have people out there going pooper scooper when it's like this isn't cool and then you have an old man in his 70s going nah this is what's gonna get you over people love the pooper scooper it's why they love you <laughs> say it and that was a... <laughs> that's fair yeah and so it was a really good uh fun wrestling uh it was so good that it almost made it seem like uh because i talked to my boss about this because he also watched wrestling it made the raw right afterwards seem borderline intolerable because it took, uh, Raw is a three-hour show. It took them over an hour to do an actual wrestling match. Meaning for the first hour, it was nothing but people talking to each other. Which is, uh, I would say kind of unacceptable in any form of anything. When, I'm, when you have so many good wrestlers on the... I guess the best way I would say it, it's like, imagine going to see... Uh, hmm... Like, like one of the best episodes of your anime that has all the action scenes in it, and it's amazing, and it tells a story even through the action, and then the exact next night you watch an episode of something that you really liked at some point, and then it's nothing but talking for exactly 22 minutes. And then nothing That happens. sounds miserable. It does sound miserable. So that was like, in my back of my head, I'm like, I actually can't tell if this is awful or if it's because I enjoyed this thing so much that this is making it way worse. And I never got a d direct answer on it, so who knows? And that's uh, that's the wrestling beginning. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, extreme anger Goku, aka Namek Goku, which I think would have been a better name <laughs> if they had just like translated to the Goku on Namek. <laughs> that Goku that was on Namek. Yeah, that's all anyone needs. To know that god that's such a good go i really love this card this card is extreme this card occasionally dokkan will release a card that will make you forgive dokkan it will make you forget that dokkan is dokkan and this is one of those cards yeah um, um i'm astonished at how good this is to be honest like dokkan has been trending up like quality wise in terms of their releases for a while like the Trunks thing is cool, where he has like the little sword fight with uh, Zamasu, and of mm -hmm. course Kid Goku's is awesome. Um, like, I think the best might be this one. It's it's really hard when uh, I I think it's because the the in my mind it's still Kid Goku, but that's because I had to wait like four years for that Kid Goku. But there's also no denying that they did the impossible task, which is make me get excited for Super Saiyan base Goku. <laughs> Well, okay, because Namek Super Saiyan Goku is special. He is like the fluffier hair and the torn up, like the torn clothes, but he still has the undershirt. So they usually either go with Goku. Um, they kept the hair, the Namek hair that they never used anymore after Namek. You're right. Okay, yeah. They, again, a lot of detail was put into this card that is above and beyond what anyone even expected. It was kind of crazy, actually, the amount of just like detail that they've put into him. His so for anyone who doesn't know, just to give a quick rundown, he's a transformation unit. Then he also has an active skill, which is funny because this is the only other unit that actually has a legit rage mode. It's him and Beerus. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that that Beerus exists. 
and it's not really his fault because like he's not super shitty or anything. But no, 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 he's actually very good right now. But it's not because he has really a rage mode for a long time. Yeah, the time he got good now, the game is just like way crazy. So it's like, yeah, yeah. You again, not, not it, it, he's good at least now. But the point is that you forget that rage mechanic is a thing because because it's it's like not relevant to why he's good at all. No. <laughs> Nothing about rage mechanic matters. It's just a neat little thing. And I would say almost kind of feel the same about this Goku, where he doesn't really need it <laughs> at all. But he's... yeah, it, he's a unit though where like, I guess it's kind of like Beerus now, where he's so good that get that's just a perk on top. Yeah, original release of that Beerus, like you release that shit, and that he was built around it, like that was his big thing. Yeah, but it sucked because that didn't matter. But when you're good and you have that, it becomes really good because it's a nice perk on top of what you have. Mm -hmm. And this Goku for sure does not need that rage mechanic to be good. He doesn't even really need his transformation to be good. He's kind of it's a, a lot of him. He's an extremely well built card <laughs> for what. <laughs> For what he is and for what he does, he also they also did the cool thing of having a dual leader skill, leader skill, for maybe the funniest thing ever because he solved the problem of how do you solve the fact that Planet Namek Saga the category would just be the Ginyu Force. The answer is you also give him Super Saiyan so he can have both. So Pretty you, much. <laughs> so you don't have to have a team that is only the Ginyu Force and Goku. You can now have a team that is just Super Saiyans. And if you want to splash in some uh, Planet Namek guys, you can, but it's not super necessary. And I can't, like, his animations are just so crazy good. Like, you almost forget uh, the parts where it turns back into Dokkan. It's when they cut to the sprite is when the illusion is broken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're it's, right, it's, and it's not, it's not a big deal because that's the way you let it know. Like this is a Dokkan thing, regardless. Like obviously they had to do it, uh, and to be fair, they usually uh, they don't show it for very long, so it's not like my my number one critique is like how come they didn't put every single sprite into some kind of dynamic pose? That would be insane. That would that would be a stupid thing to actually request. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that God, he's just so he's so amazing and all his animations are so good that i immediately spent all the stones i got and got completely shit on so <laughs> even though in the back of my mind it was like there might be a part two that did not stop me from spending every single last stone i had trying to get him yeah, well because the th thing is what part two could they release that would be cooler than this goku is because like like right now i don't give a shit about meta because uh, you know people on no. twitter are like eh yeah, he's really cool, but he's not like top five. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. He's awesome. No, no, I, I also don't a give a part two that's cooler than that. I'm trying to think of something that would also be from Namek, and it would guess. Uh... It would be like a final four, like a full power Frieza. It would right? be. That's it, would what be it, would have to be. it would be a Frieza whose active skill is doing what he did to Krillin, who is also an LR. <laughs> so he'd have to have an active skill that, like, somehow he would have to be able to use that active skill. And then later on, through a transformation mechanic, also destroy the enemy. Like, turn into full power Frieza. Like, if he goes below a certain uh, HP threshold. He goes full power, yeah. Yes. But... I mean, that's what it, that's what a part two would have to be, right? Like, what else could it even be? Yeah. It was Super Saiyan Goku. It cannot possibly be anything but Frieza if you're staying in the realm of Namek. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. Um... The only thing that... That makes me wonder about that though. Is the Frieza the Frieza in Goku's banner is new, right? Yes, that is a new Frieza. Oh, so if they do a full power Frieza, would they drop another Goku? Hmm. I don't maybe think the... so. I don't think so. I don't know. I think I think usually when they do uh, the kind of banner that that free to play the free to play full power Frieza <laughs> free to play Frieza would be a very different uh, <laughs> uh, f a full power version of Frieza. Free to play Frieza only can use the power he got from daily logins and nothing else. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think he would just be himself on a banner, and they would be at like the the trio. I mean, that's the best that you could hope for that part too. So I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, maybe they could do something where it's like a full power Frieza, and then there's a 
an SSR third form Frieza? Because is that the one that doesn't have an SSR yet? Yes, that is the current only Frieza form that does not have a legit SSR. Because they, they did a second form Frieza with Goku. Yes. So they could maybe do him and then a third form Frieza just to get all the Friezas in SSR form or something. Or yes. maybe like a Ginyu or... I guess it doesn't have to be Goku. I, I don't know. It could be Krillin. You could actually use the same Krillin. Arvin, uh, Krillin and uh, Gohan. Because Lord knows that we could definitely use a new version of those two guys. Because one's an SR and the other is an R. And I feel like they could definitely... like they, they created that sprite work for one specific sprite and then never used it again. Like, they could definitely use new units. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. But see, but... they don't care about those characters, though. Like, that's still the thing with Dokkan. I admit Dokkan is better than Legends right now. Mm -hmm. Like, fine. <laughs> fine. So they still don't give a shit about characters that aren't, like, you know? Yeah. And nothing can say that more than the fact that uh, two units that would have been fantastic to include onto the uh, Childhood Saga category were relegated to the World Tourney banner. Where they stay. Yes. Where they will stay for the rest of the time and never leave. Forever, yeah. For, for all time. And I, and I would have been like, I would have loved a new Mercenary Tau in Android 8. Are you kidding me? I would have gladly summoned on that banner if they had released them. But they didn't. So, at the end of the day... It's hard to know. I don't know what a part two was, but right now we got this Goku, and this Goku is definitely worth going for. Just because his animations are so clean, his categories are perfectly good, everything about him is basically good. There's, like, no faults at him at all. His art's great. All art for all three forms of him are great, because you get the base form Goku in his angry state, where he's doing that, uh, why is my PB hard, uh, pose. Which I'm assuming that kid got from Goku from way back in the day. And then you got the Super yeah. Saiyan Goku, who's, uh, who looks calm. His back is turned to everything. Looking good. And then you have Rage when you get in there where he puts his foot down. All of it good, as far as I'm concerned. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, again, the animation quality of it. About... Yeah. I don't have, like, strong opinions about other than his visuals, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're That's the best that I've ever seen. I would say, in terms of his passive skill, everything about him is perfectly fine. The people who are like for being weird, I know that about people like, are, are crying about like he has an HP restriction or something, and that's uh, the worst thing ever. But they're also treating it as if like those are the same complaints. And let me let's look. Uh, you know, let's put. Let's put the cat in the box. We are both talking about Rack. This is the only person. It's Rakurai. <laughs> and I mean. It is him. Shout out to Rakurai. Great good friend. Constant. Uh, the only person who gets more shit on this show than Zahal is Rakurai. But that's because yeah. he has his, uh, his opinions. <laughs> but let's 100% be honest here. 90% uh, of Dokkan nothing matters 90 percent of the content where you say he doesn't transform fucking doesn't yeah. matter so <laughs> why are you gonna matter. and then you're gonna go like oh you only do the hard things once are you gonna suddenly tell me that you play for fun all the other ones yeah it that's a weird it's a weird thing because everyone's like yeah you're never gonna see it and it's like well if, if it's, so it's not that it's so hard to go what people think about, about content in Dokkan. Yeah. Because half the time, it's bitching about how everything is too easy. Bitching about how everything that's not a Dokkan Fest is too hard. So there's, I yeah, there's no way I don't know what to make of it. I, I don't know what to make of it. No. What, what I do know is that this Goku is very good. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. <laughs> He's very good. He's very pretty. His animations are fucking incredible. They're just awesome. Yes. The... the some great this is the kind of stuff where it kind of makes made me wish like and now especially learning that the lr super saiyan 4s were made earlier that maybe they should have held off if they were suddenly going to start caring or maybe they should have released those dudes way earlier if they were like we can't have um i don't know i think it's a bad look to have your celebration dudes like i feel sorry for global because it's like in terms of me and again this is my kind of player someone who's not chasing the meta if I'm going to have to look at a unit nonstop, it's going to be one of these with the pretty animations. And the LR Super Saiyan 4s 
their active skill sounds like garbage. Their animations are garbage. Goku's active skill audio might be the worst thing I've ever heard. I, actually, let me recreate Goku's. That's how it's it pretty much that. Except it's literally the Kamehame part of it is from the fucking summon animation. It's the same one. Yeah. And I don't mean that like, oh, they re-recorded. I mean, they literally took the audio that they used for the summon animation and they put it on that too. And I think it's a bummer that apparently like, apparently it was after them that they started caring because I don't think that's fair to the units themselves. And it's like all of a sudden. Yeah, no, it sucks. And it's like, they're still good. No, they're still good. And they're people who want to use good units. They'll be perfectly fine. For all I know, they're like, I don't give a fuck. They could literally play uh, MS Paint garbage, and as long as they did one million damage, it would be okay. <laughs> Which is a yeah, valid one. And I mean, that's that's fine. That's I, I'm not gonna begrudge you if that's your playstyle. You play however you want. Play how you want to. Let me have this pretty ass Goku, and <laughs> let me spirit bomb dudes to death. Even if all he does is the spirit bomb, that is the best looking spirit bomb we've gotten since literally uh, the GT Goku that just came out. The Kid Goku GT who had the best spirit bomb until just now. With the one where yeah, he was like fair. rising from mm -hmm. the grave. And finally, I would say this one is the best spirit bomb. Okay, now let's put the, let's put this boy on the big boy scale. What are you feeling about stream, extreme anger Goku? uh 96 out of 10 hmm, and i'll give <laughs> i'll give the remaining four <laughs> out of five so that gives him a uh a 50 out of 15 if you because you gave it out of a 10 for some reason oh, i did make it out of a 10 <laughs> so he has 15 out of he has 50 out of 15 on the big boy scale which is good because we need something to combat the fact that uh, my my friends were on the show previously filling in shout outs to the Mew Mew Force and they all rated Broly extremely high and I had to specifically rate him lower or else he was going to overtake Goku. And yeah, are, are you talking about the uh, Broly that just came out? Yeah, the one with the very good animations. The ones where uh, they... His animations are good. Yeah. They are good. Like straight up, they're good. Yeah. Weird, stubby art. His transformed art is like creepy. I don't know what it is, but it freaks me the fuck out. Yeah. Well, I'm also when he transforms, it also freaks me out because uh, uh, this is again another shout out to Legends at this point. Uh, when Legends that Broly fucking event when he rising rushes, he uses the same art that he uses to transform. So when I see it, I get blinding rage. <laughs> now, whenever I see that fucking <laughs> pose of Broly, <laughs> that's funny uh not to me <laughs> i fucking hate saying that pose because every time i saw it i had to fucking close the app and go you don't get to win this one broly <laughs> you've already stolen uh 60 stamina from me no more <laughs> all right then that's goku and now let's go into the question side let me quickly pull out the questions again if you have any questions you can always send it to either ask us here on the youtube or uh, wait for me to. I now I now ask for questions every Tuesday, around seven o'clock my time, seven p.m. my time. So let me. So that now, if you want to know when I put it up on Twitter, that's when. Uh, first question comes in from YouTube, and it comes from uh, Appa, who asked. Uh, finally caught. You're cutting out really bad. I cannot hear that question at all. I'll try again. Okay, I'm saying that this is coming from Appa. Can you hear me now? Yes, okay. sort of. Okay. Good enough. Okay, good enough. This question comes in from Appa, who says, Finally cut up on TBR. Question for the next to be released. When the fourth year anniversary approaches global, what are the chances of Captain Subasa videos coming back? And have you tried Captain Subasa's dream team? Uh, thank you for the question, This is sudden Subasa support. <laughs> Uh, again, I'm telling you right now, uh, there is ne has never been a better time to be a fan of my Captain Subasa videos. <laughs> Um, where was this before? Yeah, where was this when we released Captain Subasa for the first time and nobody watched it? Uh, in terms of more episodes for Captain Subasa, I don't know. Can you really improve on perfection? Is that that's my so. question? I, yeah, I don't think you can. No, if we ever ask for, if we ever decide to do more Captain Subasa, 
uh, we would have to increase. There would have to be a season two for Captain Subasa, meaning that the next three episodes would have to actually reach two hundred views each, and then Captain <laughs> Subasa presents would not be allowed to stop until they all had two hundred views each, and that would be the uh, the that would have to be season two because you have to do better. Because I can't keep releasing Captain Subasa videos and they stay at 100. At that point, we need to show uh, the love out there for him. And, of course, I'll get James Earl Jones. Not James Earl Jones. Fucking. Uh, uh, fuck, I cannot believe I'm forgetting one of my favorite actors' names every single time. Edward James Olmos. <laughs> we'll get him on the YouTube channel to see if we can get Captain Subasa the views. But, again... And in terms of that gacha game, I've never played it, but someone did tell me a long time ago that it was pretty good. But I don't have time to play a soccer-related gacha game, let alone a soccer video game. Yeah. So. Of all things. Exactly. So I don't know. If the demand is there for Captain Tsubasa, we might do it again. But know that if Captain Tsubasa Presents ever comes back for a season two, it'd have to make 200 views for each video. That is the requisite. But uh, thank you for the question. And hope they, how do you feel about the Captain Subasa presents uh, Zen? Uh, uh, it was it was good. I, I'm nervous to do it more because I don't want to end up in a trap where Captain Subasa doesn't get the respect he deserves. It's true. That's the ultimate thing is that whether or not I can actually live up to Captain Subasa. Here's actually the thing. I will now I'll confirm this and I'll say it again when it comes out. If we can get get me to 1,000 subscribers, then we will bring back Captain Subasa and we will do Captain Subasa Presents Season 2. But only, <laughs> okay, deal. only when I get to 1,000. And that is the only time. No, not not before and not, uh, not after. <laughs> exactly 1,000. Uh, thank you for the <laughs> question. And now let me quickly find the Twitter questions. My mentions are completely fucked up because of some recent event. Uh, 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 something happened apparently <laughs> I don't know what but let me quickly find it no that's me talking about Magic the Gathering Arena here it is okay uh, we're gonna, I'm going to save these last two questions for last because I'm not going to answer I'm not going to say the anyway first question this isn't really a question someone replied to this and I thought it was funny because they don't follow me so I don't know why the fuck they found me uh, they just replied with fucking the Ahmed the Dead Terrorist and said, Silence, I kill you because I put uh, the kill you from uh, Mercenary Tao as the picture for it. And for some reason, this guy found me. <laughs> I don't. Searching understand. kill you. It was so weird. His name is Slifer. So maybe it was like uh, Slifer the Sky Dragon's alt account decided to try and come <laughs> come for me. Uh, first question, let's do this one. It will be from Nighthawk. Uh, and he says, since it didn't get answered last time, how would you rate snake drinking water on the big boy scale? Uh, Zen, do you have you ever actually seen snake drinking water? Uh, okay. So Wait. To Metal Gear Solid Snake, but I, I, I think it's actually a snake, right? Yeah, it's actually a little snake drinking water. This is a bit that came back from, I want to say back when my brother and sister helped me out with an episode of to be released where they kept talking about uh, a video of a snake drinking water. And then I right. said, and then they said, I want you to play snake drinking water right now. And so I found the video and I played it at that specific point. And then when they came back and helped me again, snake drinking water came back up again and snake drinking water stayed in the file. So I just started using that as the new intro for to be released <laughs> is the <laughs> dragon ball. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. But instead of like the old animation, it's a snake drinking water. So snake drinking water has been the new intro for quite a bit now. All right, hang on, let me go look at it then. Yeah, the most recent episode should start with snake drinking water, and it's a very short clip. But it's I think it's about maybe a minute long of a snake slowly drinking some water. I'll actually play Snake Drinking Water for the people yes. right now. Do have you seen it now? Yes. What do you? Okay, that's so pretty I'll, good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, in terms of the big good. boy scale, I would rate that snake a five out of five big boy. I think he is a four out of five for me. He's a little small. Hmm, that's fair. So let's put a, that's a four point five out of a big four 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 point five out of the scale. That's respectful for just a snake that just wants to get some water. 
Yeah. Uh, thank you for the question. Next question comes in from Rob. And says, if your favorite character dies in a show you're watching, do you think it takes away from that character slash show, the show or not? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of like, it, it, this is really a question of like, it kind of depends on the show and whether or not they can handle it or not. Because I've definitely had some of my favorite stuff ends with the uh, with my favorite character and or the main character dying at the end. So, but then th once that happens, the show is over. <laughs> like, hang up. Can you not hear me? Hello? Uh, no. No. Uh, I'm here, but I you, you're cutting in and out kind of bad. Say that again. Okay. So the question is: Is that if character dies, does that take away from your favorite character dies? Does that take away from the show? Slash. Uh. Well. It, that's kind of hard to say. Yeah, again, I think it kind of depends on the show. It depends on if the favorite character is why you're watching the show. If they entertain you other than you really enjoy that character, then yeah, of course it will. But hmm. if it's a good show and your favorite character happens to die, then no, I wouldn't say that, no. Uh, to give a good uh, example of this, because uh, this happened recently, I was watching Zoo Ranger which is the Japanese version of the Power Rangers. That's where Power Rangers got their power from. And uh, if you ever remember old Power Rangers, Zen just actually had to leave because I think something crashed. Uh, Zen, are you back? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so remember how in Power Rangers, the Green Ranger lost his powers because of the camera? Oh, yeah, I know what happens in Zyre Ranger. Okay. Yeah, Burai so, dies. Bur yeah, Burai dies. And he dies when there's only, like, I want to say five episodes left. <laughs> But up until that point, uh, he was my favorite character. And I would say even up until his death, uh, he was my favorite character. I actually feel like they fucked up and they should have really saved that for... They should have... The thing is, is that if they had killed him early, you would not have gotten the episode with uh, Dragon Caesar acting extremely sad that his master is gone and acting like a dog. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know if whether or not they should have ended with him dying because then I would have lost that episode. But <laughs> yeah, I also love how its name is Dr Dragon Caesar instead of the Dragon Sword. Yeah, that's also very good. And how it literally was just uh, roaming the land, <laughs> killing monsters on its own. Doing what needed to be done. Exactly. He's like, he's not here anymore, but I'm still doing it for him. Still doing it big. Dragon Caesar. Um. But yeah, it kind of really depends on the show. And then, like you said, if the he was the only reason why you sticked with the show and he's gone, then that's where you get people going like, oh, after this character died, the show went downhill. It's like, well, it's because the only reason you were watching the show was for that character. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, I think character deaths, when done right, are some of the best parts of any show. Like, you just, you just gotta sure. write it correctly is what I'm saying. Just be good. Yeah. Easier easier said than done. Just do yeah. good. Yeah, just do good. Thank you for the question. Next question comes from Bunny Yeo, who says, should they make a Dr. Slump gotcha game? And I'm going to tell you right now, they did, and nobody played it. So not even me, who wasn't even sure that it was around until after he had died. I think it, I would have liked it, but, like, you don't have the specific stuff there for Dr. Slump like you do uh, Dragon Ball. It's just not the same. It's a Rayleigh. Yeah. And that's about it. It's uh, And then the, after him, it's probably... Um, it's probably Superman. But he sucks. That's his entire plot, is that he's a character that is built to just be the shittiest character that you could imagine. So yeah. Hope that answers that question. Next question comes in from Lodestar, who says, Which unit do you think got the best improvement with an easy A in Dokkan? Also, how would you rate Dokkan and DB on the big boy scale? Uh, this question was not asked before the DB shit <laughs> exploded. Oh, yeah. Uh, in terms of who got the best easy A, um, I don't know. They kind of all run together in my mind. I don't have passionate views like some other people who are there like, this character went from unusable to one of the greatest. Like, I guess uh, some people thought um, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta's uh, was extremely good for that reason. 
but I don't know. I'll say Beerus because I use him on Realm of Gods, and he literally could, and he literally went from a unit you never use to a unit you could actually use. So I'll say but that or um, Janemba, because Janemba ended up being better than the STR version. Uh, yeah, Janemba was probably my pick. Yeah, there's no denying that Janemba is just better than the STR version. They may as well just oh, yeah, made the, for sure, hundred percent. They should have just made the passive better than STR. Uh, this one comes from Super Bright Adrian, who asked, "Name some different ways to bully Ibaraki." Uh, this is a fake Grand Order reference. There's a oh, there was Christ. a raid. There was a raid recently where uh, you had to fight this uh, Oni woman called Ibaraki and. You just, uh, people basically killed her. Basically, the running joke is that you can kill her in many different ways. And since she doesn't die, it's bullying. Uh, the point is, is that you can do whatever you want. The way I did it was that I just uh, killed her with whatever character I had on hand. <laughs> what character do I feel like using today? This one. Okay, congratulations. You are now going to kill this woman for the next uh, day. And then the next day, I'll have a new unit. But I don't know. Doing damage. That's what I'll say. Uh, next question. I don't know anything about that, so I will agree with you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Do you damage. Uh, next question comes from Red Shadow, who asked, If you and Zen had Dokkan cards, what would they do? And thoughts on the seven-page seven Muda. Uh, uh, breaking news from Zahal, McCool got unbanned. <laughs> see, I, I think people are not... Really. I think that the, he never actually said that he got banned. Yeah, so I'm reading that, and it looks like he's saying, "Do the Google Trend. When I woke up, it was a big deal. Lol, I sent mail directly to the administration for those who were banned. My account is alive. Hmm. Says, yes, I emailed them, but I only uh, did it to help people. Yeah, I feel like that's there was no way that Legends actually legitimately banned him. Cuz Japanese apparently don't use uh vendor stuff, so not not all of them. Not as much as the West, I'll say. I think that's fair. Probably not. Say. No. No. Uh while Zen argues with the hall, I'll tell you what my Dokkan <laughs> card would do. Uh <laughs> It'd be the leader. It would somehow allow you to use every single Rayleigh, and then it would be a support lead to Rayleigh. So all the Rayleighs get 100% attack and defense. Uh, three key. <laughs> and can use their link skills. That would be my. That's that's what I would <laughs> that's a good. That's a good skill, though. I think it'd be different in terms of just like, well, I'm a leader skill that's literally useless with no other team. <laughs> We'd only use useful for one team. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that's the good way to do it, though. Yeah, it's true. What would you do? Uh, it would be an anti-Vegeta unit. <laughs> All Vegeta characters can no longer do damage. Uh, including Kabi Vegeta? So it, it would go beyond just Vegeta's lineage. It would just literally have to be Vegeta. Is Vegeta on the just card? Vegeta, because Trunks is fine. Yeah. Trunks and Bra are fine. Just Vegeta. All right. That's fair. And in terms and of... King the... Vegeta is okay. So just really the Prince Vegeta. The, the crown prince That's of the Saiyans. Just the prince of all Saiyans. All right. Fair. Uh, in terms of seven-page Muda, I don't remember it. Uh, but I do like it when people Muda for an extremely long time. So I approve. I'll give a thumbs up on seven page Muda. What about you? I think you've recently have been saying that you are not cool with people saying that it was a uh, seven page Muda was awesome. And then saying that they didn't read the manga. I think that was your <laughs> recent take from that, from what I remember. Yes, basically. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. I like it when people do punch for an extremely long time. I think regardless of what I think about part five, I can never take away from the fact that that shit's awesome. It doesn't matter. Love part five? So that's that was like, uh God, it's so good. Yeah. It was so good. Insane. It's great. 
thank you for the question, Red Shadow. Uh, this next question comes in from Johan, and he says, "Give me your thoughts about this video. Have you seen this video that Johan has posted?" Yes, the one where it's him trying to get uh, Goku Black and failing. Yeah, and it's it's Big pretty. Shit on. Yeah, he like his whole arc has man. This is some serious character development. Let me say. Yes, it is something else. I also want to say that he is, I think in the ultimate back end, he is called Vegeta U and uh, yeah, Goku. Yeah, and you're Goku. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I think it's great. And I love that uh, one that I hope Johan, uh, he only used free to play stones. So it's not that bad in the grand scheme of things. And that he constantly... The funniest part of it isn't the, the damage being cards he did want because people have done that funniest part is the constant updating lower stone number <laughs> yeah that's really good fucking part because he starts i think it starts with like 500 and then by the end of the video he has like 100 or so he, he starts with 650 on his chest and then after trunk slashes him in the chest it's down to 200 <laughs> he swings his fists it says 50 stones on his fists Oh, it's very good, and I thank Johan for all the hard work he's doing in <laughs> for just asking us questions. This is maybe the easiest thing ever because we don't have to do shit. We just have to react and give honest opinions about what he's doing. <laughs> I know. Funny. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, my thoughts is that that video is great. Good work on it, and good luck. I I don't remember. Do you, you remember the last update where he a, he was gonna ask us? Oh no, you weren't here because it was the Mew Mew Force. He started Japan and he was able to get Ink Goku Black, and then he asked us, did he had enough time to uh, pull the AGL's uh, Zamasu? Uh, and then that. and then he said, update the banner just left <laughs> like two minutes <laughs> later. <laughs> And I said, I know, dude. I was about to say, by the time we answer this, you're, you're, the van is going to be gone. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. This poor fucking guy. He just wants his Zamasu family cards. He does. He can't get them. All the best to Johan. Uh, these last two questions share the same, but I saved these for last because there's no coming back from these questions. First question comes in from, I'm just going to call them Degenerate 1 and Degenerate Australia. From Degenerate Australia, he asks, which Pokemon would you rather sleep with, Lopunny or Gardevoir? And can I cheat and just assume that he means cuddle, like a like a like you would a dog? Sure. I don't mind that. In that case, uh... But if it's the other way that he actually meant it, um... Gardevoir, because it's not like an animal. It's just some kind of weird thing. Yeah. So I'm gonna you cut out. So I'm gonna assume you see. If you mean just cuddle, it's low bunny because it's a giant fluffy bunny. It's just a bunny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. If I if if you mean in terms of cuddle, it'd be low bunny. And then if you mean actually sleep with, as in the degenerate way that I'm taking it, it would probably still be low bunny because I think Gardevoir looks weird. <laughs> but every time I would say low bunny is a rabbit, but like, Gardevoir is <laughs> Gardevoir. Think- a vague thing. I don't think it's just it's not anything comparable in the real world. Maybe because it was all the sprite work of when Gardevoir came out, I always assumed Gardevoir didn't have a 3D body. That Gardevoir doesn't is... look like she does. She kind of looks like a sheet. That's like the thing is that I don't want <laughs> I don't want to get a paper cut. Is what I'm coming. <laughs> Sheets aren't made of paper; they're cloth. <laughs> really need to get you a new house if you're sleeping with paper sheets <laughs> apparently yeah maybe i just need a different um i also feel like gardevoir would be uh very I, I would be afraid of actually hurting gardevoir because she seems very fragile unless she's in her mega form and we, if we you know we're not gonna go that far because we start putting in the fact that both of these pokemon have mega forms then it's gonna be a different conversation to all the world but either way, I'll yeah, say, I don't want. Yeah, I don't want to go down that road. No, no further way down way. But I'll say again, if it was both ways, cuddle, low punny, and if it was sleep with, it would still be low punny. Mainly because at that point, it's like whatever. Both of these are both Pokemon monsters, and one of them, both of them can't speak English, so this is a bad situation that I've gotten myself into. Yeah, uh, we we got to move on. Yeah, <laughs> we got to move on. We can't do this. We can't stay on it. Uh, no, thank you, degenerate. Never send us another question. 
And the next you've uh, lost your question privileges. Degenerate Australia. Go is play not Final Fantasy: Brave Exvius. Oh wait, you can't. Oh damn. <laughs> and this next one comes in from uh, I'll call him Degenerate Attack on Titans, who asks if you were fucking Naruto while he's in the sexy clone jutsu. When he poops back to normal while your pee pee is in his vagina, would your pee pee end up inside his pee pee? And then Sahal so, so did the the questionary work of actually adding Kishimoto. To ask him <laughs> what would happen. And uh, there's no real answer to this. I'll just say if you want to avoid that situation, you just have anal. Alright, everyone. That's the questions for what we got. Again, Degenerate Attack on Titan. Never ask us a question. You've lost all question asking privileges. Lost everything. You will never have another question answered on here. They are gone forever. Stricken from the record. Uh, forever gone. But thank you to everyone else who sent in a question and had some fucking common decency. <laughs> some basic human decency, yeah. Yeah, who weren't some kind of uh, freaks. Freaks come out at night. Kai uh, type of situation, you know, for a brief second. And there's a reason they sent all the criminals there. Exactly. There was, for a brief moment in my mind, uh, when, Austra when the Australian degenerate sent us that question, that I was actually just going to... Um, message hope and ask her what would be her and then we would just read her answers to the actual situation and then i thought better of it i ended up not doing it because i was like i'm not gonna bother her with this fucking question at all even though she would probably gladly answer it for us because she's just that kind of nice of a person uh there's no way good way for me to end this because again like i said those are uh mood breaking questions so let's actually just do the the outro zone how does that sound all right, let me quickly find my outro as the hall's name keeps popping up as I try and fucking search for this. <laughs> Going crazy up in there. All right, let me see. And you remember, of course, what to say after it, right? I can never find the exact quote from this, and it makes me angry every single time that I don't just save it <laughs> for myself. Let's see. I, I, I cannot believe that it's so hard to find. There we go. All right, ready, Zen? Oh, but yes. Okay. All right, everyone, it's me, Wogi, here talking to you about Dokkan. Kids, don't be afraid to say no to Dokkan. Anyone who asks you... You remember. To... Huh? <laughs> I do remember. Keep going. Okay. To use Dokkan is not your friend. Anyone that tells you to play Dokkan is not your friends. Dokkan can and will kill. Remember, don't be afraid to turn to your priest, your rabbi, your master, your mom... Your master? Your minister, your moms, your dads, your red to your teacher, because Dokkan can kill. And if you do play Dokkan, you go to hell before you die. It's no good. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>